Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how to um, look at the values for whole prey rabbit, um, analyze them from the rodent pro database, and then also from the nutrition self database to kind of build your um, your feeding profile in either pet diet designer or chronometer. Okay, so getting started. So the rodent pro um, website nutrition data. Um, it's a it's a great resource, but it trips people up because they record everything in terms of dry matter, and so that can be a little bit confusing how to um, get that in terms of like a whole prey which has the um, moisture content of you know 70 75 percent. Generally speaking, meat is pretty high in moisture, so it can be a little tricky to kind of think about how to take dry matter values and extend them out so they make sense for the whole prey that you might be feeding. And so um, get right started. So the, um, the value that I'm using is the whole prey domestic rabbit. You can apply these principles to anything on this chart. After I kind of show you this, hopefully um, you understand it well enough to be able to apply these principles to anything that you might find on that rodent pro chart. Um, so what we have is the domestic rabbit, dry matter, that's what the DM is, and then dressed carcass, which in that case is the eviscerated whole body with the um, head, feet, and skin removed. We're assuming organs are in here This um, for this. Um, that can be a little confusing to find on the rodent pro, but we are assuming that organs are in this mix here. So um, starting out, I just pulled these values straight from the table. This is how they record things. So it's 65% point um, two or 65.2% protein, 15.8% fat, there's um, 5.3 calories per gram, um, all of these values here. And so that 65% protein seems high. That's because we're looking at it in terms of dry matter. So um, I'll show you how to how to get this converted. So the first thing we're going to do is figure out what this is um, per 100 grams, just of the dry matter. And it's easy with percents. You just convert it right over. Really simple. For minerals, same thing. The ones that are in percents, convert them straight over. And then for the ones that are milligrams per kilogram or IU per kilogram, um, all I did was divide that by 10 um, because the kilogram is 1,000 grams. So I divided it by 10 to get per 100 grams. So um, these were the values that I pulled for that. So you know, you'll know, you notice also um, multiplied this by 100 to get kcal per 100 grams. And you'll notice 530 calories seems really high for 100 grams of rabbit and again that's because we're looking at dry matter so when you remove all the moisture out and you just have 100 grams of dry matter um, it's a lot more calorie dense because you don't have that you know low cal zero cal moisture content in there um, same thing like you might notice down here that um, normally speaking you know manganese is going to be pretty low and just plain old meat so this might seem a little dense in that it's again because we're looking at it in terms of dry matter so this is going to be um, divided down essentially so how we do that is um, so if we're looking at these values like we think of these values in terms of you know a hundred percent dry matter we want to get it down to 26.2 percent dry matter so what we do is we multiply this this whole 100 value by 0 0.262 or 26.2 percent and that is going to um, give us how much protein fat calcium etc there will be once we've accounted for the fact that there's 73.8 percent moisture and so what you'll see here is going to be values that look really similar to what you what you'll see in like the um, canine kitchen book for whole rabbit and stuff and so that's how we know you know we're on the right track because um, after you account for um, account the moisture back in these values start to make a whole lot more sense in the terms of um, what we're actually feeding here so hopefully that made that part made sense so uh, you know for example um, 65.2 if you multiply that out by 0 0.262 you're gonna get about 17 grams of protein 
and, and same thing, this whole column here, everything is just multiplied by 0 0.262 because these are all relational values, so we can all relationally multiply them out by that 0 0.262 to account in for that 73.8% moisture. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, the next part that I'm going to move on to is the nutrition self data part of this. So um, this is kind of filling in the gaps and the number one caveat I'm going to tell you here is that this is not going to be 100% accurate. You know, this is, if, if you're just dying to get these amino acids and fatty acids and vitamins in, into that um, whole prey value in your chronometer or pet diet designer, this is going to help hopefully get you at least close. So um, what I'm talking about here is that we, we know we can get close because we're just looking at, at the meat and then we're going to um, multiply it, it down, again kind of like what we did with the dry matter, we're going to multiply it down by the bone percentage. So um, if, we, if we compare the protein in the nutrition self data to the protein from the rodent pro, um, we're seeing about a 15% discrepancy, so we're estimating here that the rabbits um, are going to be about 15% bone. You know, I've seen values as low as 10%, I've seen values as high as 25%. So in, in my calculations, I'm going with 15% because I'm analyzing the protein ratio. So hopefully that wasn't too confusing. But anyway, back to the point of why this isn't going to be 100% accurate because we're only looking at the amino acid and fatty acid profiles and then multiplying them down by the protein, but we're not looking at necessarily um, what the amino acid profile is for um, organ meat. So like this amino acid profile and fatty acid profile, this is only for like the, the cuts of meat from the rabbit. It's not going to include the organs. So um, that would require, you know, knowing exactly how much organ meat was in the rabbit, all of that stuff. That stuff's a little tricky to find. I wasn't able to find it. So what I'm doing is I'm just, I'm using the nutrition self data and kind of retrofitting it to work for my, um, for my purposes, understanding that maybe the amino acids are not a hundred percent right, but we're going to be close. Okay. So moving on how I do this then. So what we do with this is it's it's very similar it's just like we're doing it the reverse way so we know that you know there's 20 grams of protein and 100 grams of this um, nutrition self data pure 100% meat rabbit and there's about 17 grams in the rodent pro organ bone profile so what I did is I just divided 17 by 20 and I get about 85% because 17 is about 85% of um, 20. So then what I'm going to do, and so that's where this 15% bone came from. That's the discrepancy that we're measuring here. So all I'm doing with these values is I'm multiplying them out by 0 0.85 to account for that 15% bone that is um, causing a discrepancy. And that is how I populate this part of the table. So, you know, because it's not um, such a smaller value, you know, like we were multiplying by 0 0.262 last time, because we're multiplying by 0 0.85, you know, the numbers are not gonna be as different. So it's it's not gonna be this, this massive discrepancy, but basically this is what you're getting, um, nutrient per 100 grams accounting for bone. So these would be the values, you know, if you're going to your chronometer or your pet diet designer and you're entering in a new um, animal, you're going to enter in this column for the amino acids, the fatty acids, and the vitamins. Um, okay, hopefully hopefully that made sense. Okay, and then if we go back here, same thing here, I, didn't, I guess I didn't mention this, for these guys, this last column, this is what you're going to enter in there. Um, if you're interested in me sending you the values, just let me know. I've got these marked up in Excel spreadsheet. Um, otherwise, you can just, you know, pause the video, copy them over, do the math yourself, make sure it all makes sense. I'm not guaranteeing that this math is 100% right, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's right. So hopefully that helps.